Hello everyone. <clears throat> In this uh, video, we'll understand one of the special cases of uh, solutions of linear programming problem, which is infeasible solution. Uh, this will be understood through this numerical example. Solve the following LPP graphically. Maximize Z, which is equal to 10 times X1 plus 3 times X2, subject to 2X1 plus 3X2 less than or equal to 18, 6X1 plus 5X2 greater than or equal to 16. And the non-negativity restrictions finally, X1 and X2 greater than or equal to 0. So we'll start with the first converting this inequations to equations. Let line one be two times x1 plus three times x2 equal to 18. We'll consider this as equation one. Let line two be six times x1 plus five times x2 equal to 60. Call this as equation two. Now let us consider this line one and let us find out by assigning some values of one variable the value of the other variable by assigning first x1 as 0 uh, if i put x1 as 0 in the line 1 equation this term will become 0 so 3x2 equal to 18 means x2 will be 6 and then assigning x2 as 0 in the first equation uh, this term will become 0. So 2x1 equal to 18. That means x1 will be 9. Similarly, second line, assigning x1 as 0, this term will become 0. So 5x2 equal to 60 means x2 will be 12. Assigning now x2 as 0, this term will become 0. 6x1 six, six, equal to 60 means x1 will be 10. Now we have the coordinates for each of the line. This one will be 0, 6. This one will be 9, 0. And this will be 0, 12, 10, 0. Now we can draw the graph. We may notice the least value of x1 as well as x2, both are zeros. Uh, highest value of x1 is 10, highest value of x2 is 12. Accordingly, we can draw the graph. our y-axis, which we'll call it as x2 axis. This is our x-axis, which we'll call it as x1 axis. x1 axis, x2 axis. Now, x1, we saw the maximum value was 10. jump with the two two units x2 maximum was 12 Now, let us draw line one. Uh, if x1 is 0, x2 is 2. x1 is 0, x2 is 6. I'm sorry, not 2, 6. So that means the point will be on the top of this. Then, if x1 is 9, x2 is 0. x2 0, x1 is 9 means in between. Now, I can join these two points. That is this 6 and this point, 9 point. This is actually 9. Uh, 
and the first uh, in equation is less than or equal to so the shading has to be like this downwards to this line okay second line also we will draw x1 is 0 x2 is 12 x1 is 0 x2 is 12 and then x1 is 10 x2 is 0 we will join these two points also So for the first line, this is line one. This is our line two. For line one, since it has got a less than or equality symbol, shading has to be towards the left of the line or downward to the line. And uh, for line two, <clears throat> it is greater than our equality. So shading has to happen above that. And I'm putting arrow marks because it is, it is going to infinity. There is no upper boundary for it. For that reason, I'm putting arrow. So shading for the full upward side, we are putting just arrow marks just to indicate that it can go to infinity. Yeah. Now, in this case, we don't get a common intersecting region because uh, one of the constraint is of greater than or equal to one of the constraint is of less than or equal to. So we have shaded here and we have shaded here. These two are not intersecting each other. So we may note that there is no common intersecting region or uh, intersecting feasible region feasible region and this indicates this indicates that the solution for this problem is infeasible because we are not getting any common intersecting region. So you cannot find out solution for this particular problem. Such things may happen provided when we formulated the uh, linear programming problem, that time some additional constraints we might have missed it or uh, the, uh, the creation itself may be wrong. So such cases, this can happen. Generally, it won't happen. But if we have missed some of the variables involved in a particular uh, real life problem, this might occur. Generally, we get uh, proper feasible solutions. But in case of something we might have missed it or something like that, then we may land up with an infeasible solution. So in case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you, I request you to please like it, share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.